Good morning. So we are at the Boot Hill RV Park. We got the second to last spot when we pulled it last night. It's like four miles north of Alamo Gorda. Alamo Gorda. I don't really know if I'm saying that right. I think it's like the Alamo and then Gorda. But it's a nice campground. I think they have a lot of people living here. So we have a covered spot like that. I'll show you when we get closer. But they have covered storage, which is nice. Some nice artwork. Two horses made out of metal. So across the highway is Pistagio land. So they must, um, we saw some nut trees once we got to, into New Mexico. So I wonder if they grow pistachios around here. They're selling them in the stores, like different flavored pistachio nuts. But, oh, that's an old farm equipment. It's neat. This is a really nice place. Here's the parking area in the front. And that's the store. They have lots of neat artwork they're selling in there. The lady's really nice. Definitely stay here if you... Here or the KOA are definitely the places to stay in town. Fortunately, the KOA is only half capacity now. Oh, look at their flowers. So this is a neat courtyard. They have grills, picnic tables, be a fun place to hang out. Oh, there's horseshoes. I can definitely hang out here. And there's a gift shop. There's a side door and laundry. Oh, and here's the kitty I was petting last night. He came running toward me. Yeah. Hi, kitty. I can't pet you now. Okay? Look at the camera. So these are the bathrooms. They're really nice. I mean... Got a nice bench. Places to hang your towel right there. Just really nice. Oh, this poor little kitty wants pets. Yeah, he wants pets so bad. Laying in the sun, waiting for pets. Are you waiting for your owners? Yeah? Is your job to catch the mice? You catch the mousies? What's your name? Yeah, what's your name? Oh, look at you. Look at you. Oh, let me give you a little pet, okay? A little pet. Oh, yeah. You like that, don't you? Yeah. You need a pet. Head is warm. Okay, bye. Oh, good little kitty there. Oh, my gosh. That is neat. So they have bleachers for people to watch the horseshoes. <laughs> That's awesome. They got horseshoes. Actually out. Yeah, this is a little neat table with umbrella. This is really nice. Really nice. So here's some more of the covered spots. And I think I can go out this way. Let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> Wondering if this place is open year round. Well, it is because people live here. But um, they have the pipes wrapped in the bathroom for like the sink. And I see um, some stuff outside even wrapped. People that are here. And some giant propane tanks. It's nice to see there's places you can find RV parks open in the winter in cold areas and if you don't want to deal with freezing just drain all your water I thought about draining our water dumping the antifreeze in the holding tanks and then just going to the bathroom and letting that mix and then adding some more antifreeze every once in a while with some RV antifreeze you put in there 
and then now you can just use you know a little bit of bottled water to flush with and you can still use your bathroom man so there's us on the other side of the cabin you can see the cover we're under it's really neat i i want one of those at our house so we can and then put sides on it with like some heavy duty tarp lash it down we are leaving Boot Hill RV Park and it was really nice to spend a week there and see all the stuff around here. And the covered thing over our spot was really neat. Never seen that before in an RV park. So we're going to Klein's Corner and then over the mountains to Albuquerque and we're going to try and see the National Monument. That's not open so hopefully there's stuff in the parking lot we can see easily outside petroglyphs national monument so, anyways, so it's like three hours for us or maybe three and a half hours to get there three to three and a half hours so we are in Tularosa New Mexico north of Alamogorda so there's a line of people outside. Oh, they're voting probably at the police station. It must be a voting spot. In a quarter mile, turn left onto US 54 East St. Francis Drive. First I thought there must be a lot of crime here. <laughs> then I realized it's an election day. Alright, so we are getting on Highway 54 North. Turn left onto US 54 East, St. Francis Drive. Going to Interstate 40, 100 and I think it might be 153 miles away. Continue on US 54 East for 110 miles. So I got the um, video, our one video up that had some of the audio tour narration. And, Google accepted it, and it should. It's not music, and it's free, but I'm glad because I think it's interesting. But see you later. All right, this road looks straight. I think we're on some pretty straight and flat roads until we get to the interstate. On either side of us. But it's 8 o'clock. So I think we got out of our campsite around, must have been 7.45. Not bad. Zoe um, was bad last night. And then she threw up on our dirty clothes this morning. So just threw away a couple socks and stuff. It wasn't worth it up the mess and made spreading it but uh, she wanted it in the cabinet so we went and let her so she probably got anxious it's her third time throwing up in four weeks almost that's about average i guess one was a purple but we got this water bottle out because she was just really bad last night waking us up she was running around bouncing around I don't know if she saw stuff outside because we're in the desert. There's, you know, birds, rabbits, mice. But now she's sleeping. So the two videos I put up last night, I used the rest of our hotspot data since it resets. I mean, it was fast. 10 gigabytes in one hour uploaded. And now that it's, um, I'm out, it slows down to like, what is it, one and a half gigabytes in an hour and 20 minutes. It's like that's how slow it is. But the one I'm doing now is day 20, which is our last day in Mustang Island. So that's why there's a gap in the videos, or was a gap in the videos. So we are getting on, I think, um, I'm not really sure what we're getting on. We're on 
second left onto East Avenue. Oh, we're getting onto East Avenue. Oh, and I hope I didn't just miss it. I did. In uh, half a mile, turn left onto US 380 West. But basically, we, um, we're going to go to the interstate. Whatever interstate goes through Albuquerque, I don't remember now. Instead of going up to Klein's Corner and over the mountains. I want to save an hour, hour and a half by doing that. Because we potentially will be in Arizona tonight. And it'll be easier to get campgrounds. Because I'm pretty sure they're not shut down at all. Like New Mexico. And unfortunately a lot of the national monuments in New Mexico are pretty much closed. Like White Sands, Visitor Center's closed, gift shop's closed, Every, you know, no food, everything's closed. So I don't really know if I want to spend much time. We'll check out the first one and if it's pretty Turn much... Turn left onto US 380 West. Nothing to do, we might even skip the last two. So I don't know. Continue on US 380 West for 65 miles. This is. It's a little though. We passed um, Smokey the Bear Park sign. Ah, oh, here's a Valley of Fires Recreational Park in four miles. They have RV camping there. That's neat. Sounds neat. All right, so. Hopefully we'll be in the interstate in an hour, roughly. So that Valley of Fire Recreation Area State Park back there, it's surrounded by lava fields. So I definitely want to come back here. I don't know if I can come back in the winter, I don't know how cold it is. But someday, the campground looked nice in the lava fields. And if there's hiking trails, that would be fun. But it's on 380 West, is what we're on.
gradually going up. It'll be interesting to see what our altitude is at the pass. It's all just scrub landy. But that last town we went to was at 5,400 feet. And where we spent the night was 4,500 feet. So we stopped at this picnic area and we found out why Zoe wanted it in the front and was trying to get our attention. She had thrown up on part of her cat condo where she sits and on the couch blanket. So we cleaned that up and she ate some food and she seems happy now. She's like, that's her second time throwing up today. Hopefully the last. Kind of nice they have these little picnic areas. They're not huge, but at least it's a place to stop. So we have 28 miles to the interstate.
the 63 outside. It wasn't too bad last night. It was supposed to get down to 42, I thought, but I don't think it did. I thought it was like only 50, maybe. The heat didn't go on much. We're at the Walking Sands rest area. About 
50 to 60 miles south of Albuquerque. Pretty good view. Not too windy out. And really neat picnic areas. A little kind of a little area. But that's it.